Our beloved leader, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who is the greatest inspiration to many people in their own fields, is no more with us physically. So what was your first reaction to this sad news? It is very sad news for me. To some extent it's shocking because uh, normally in Kalam family, many of them live beyond 100 years. So it's uh, Sudden demise is uh, definitely a shocking thing. I am sad because uh, you know he is my mentor. I've been with him for a long time. Uh, definitely, I miss him. Definitely. Okay, you have known him for around thirty years on both professional and personal level. So tell us how he has been an inspiration in your life and. Some of the most memorable incidents you have shared with me. Mehna, one thing, he is uh, personally a very good person, very good human being. He is, uh, I never seen him uh, getting upset or even scolding somebody. Even in very, very, uh, you know, uh, very difficult situations we went through, he was keeping his uh, mood always upright. And always, you know, he, he was backing us. He was backing us. Whenever we were failing, he was uh, coming behind, don't worry. And, uh, you know, he was taking the blame on him. Whenever we are succeeding, he made, you know, he was he was uh, pushing us to the forefront. And this will have done like that, no? Yes, uh, that way, uh, he encourages, he encourages the person. Second, he has got, uh, you know, he, he is a very good motivator. The one, one uh, 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 very special characteristic of him is his uh, uh, favorite one, integrated approach. He calls everything as integrated. You see, the integrated has got a lot of meaning. In our missile program, we call integrated missile program because we combine many programs together. When uh, he joined our place, we, we were, uh, we know, we, we, uh, just before that we did a very major project which was very successful, but, uh, you know, totally the, there was, there was a, a government decision not to go in for that. So the entire institution was, uh, you know, they were totally demotivated. And that's why it's mentioned, you know, like uh, Navagrahas. And one department, another department, they were not uh, seeing eye to eye to each other. Uh, that's the time he was brought in. He was working in the Indian Space Program. From there, he was brought for the missile program. The, when he came there, it was utter chaos. He brought everybody. He brought, he structured the whole organization and then brought everybody, you know, under the, you know, they, 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 uh, he made everybody to work with each other. He has a builder of the teams, team builder. Constitute the team, give them the target, gave them sufficient uh, facility, manpower, money, and all. And then push them towards the work. He's a, even though he appears very soft, he's a st strong taskmaster. And a very dedicated strong man, start first. You see, every day he comes to office, his routine is very clear. Morning, 6.30 to 7.30, he goes for a walk. 9 o'clock, he is there in the office. And uh, he leaves the office by not before midnight of the day. Goes back and then comes back on the next day. For him, there is no Saturday, no Sunday. The, I, I know him almost for more than 33 years. I had not taken him, I had not seen him taking any leave or anything. In fact, one, one such occasion I asked him, you know, why you are not, you are not becoming sick? Why you are not becoming sick? He said, I don't have time to become sick. Very two or three occasions where uh, he was immobilized, you know, some fracture and all. Otherwise, he was a very healthy hey, hey, person. Uh, the time it, where I was closely working with him, he was, for us, he was a technology leader. He 
per se he may not know everything in the technology but he is a system you know system engineer he was in a position to understand how the system is communicate to us the problem and then he was able to motivate the group and uh, make interdisciplinary approach for this and uh, making a team see our team was uh, almost uh, 70000 people spread all over india there are about 400 industries are participating and uh, you know all this bringing them together was a great achievement and then by, by way of uh, you know he challenged the world for uh, you know when we were blacklisted for man machine material all the uh, famous uh, uh, what we call uh, you know the, the countries like us uk germany russia all of them joined together they had mtcr missile testing control regime uh, man machine material nothing was uh, supplied to us but uh, the beginning itself he made us to work with indigenous design indigenous material indigenous specification and indian industries so with, with this approach whatever happened in the outside world and nothing had greatly affected us that way he was a technology leader see today uh, you know when, when we when we started the program uh, the one issue what we faced the earlier program was that uh, we made the missile all right but uh, the services uh, they indicated that the missile is outdated we don't require this so you wanted us to be at par with i know it should be state of art technology for that if uh, you leave the scientist to work first we go for uh, uh, research development prototype making and then go for production he 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 asked us to go ahead with the research and development but parallelly he started setting up production industries production setup so we went to nasa and tubro we, we were there in god rate some 400 missile centers production centers we established in uh, companies this was taking about 5 6 years by the time the project also was done to a particular stage by the time the project came to the final stage the production has already started that means the earlier the approach was between the development and production there was a gap of 4 to 5 years here we we were by the time we were closing our development already we started our production this happened somewhere in 80s in 95 96 and all uh, that's the time that we understood the management jar- jargon concurrent engineering the the concept of concurrent engineering came up in a big way from 1995 onwards but this year established earlier so what i say is uh, the first phase of his uh, uh, of his association technologically he was leading us and managerially he was leading uh, that at the time 1999 uh, russia was uh, having problem and uh, russians you know they didn't have money and uh, you know whole program for the defense oriented programs of course this gentleman who was uh, heading the drdo secretary he entered into deal with them a strategy government of india government of russia both of us joined together to start a private company and uh, uh, in that almost the russians were uh, you know uh, in the technologically they were ahead of us in terms of uh, supersonic cruise missile system we were very strong in electronics communication we are very strong in integrating we have got our users so that is also very strong but basically our strength was uh, the young uh, blood he believed in young blood our age group average age group was 30 to 35 the russian age group average age is 70 plus so the combination of russian and indian work uh, it uh, yielded very good results he is a believer of uh, you know he, he uh, in fact he is a very strong believer of youth force the indian minister of science was trying to get a computer 
that time there used to be a main computer, powerful computer, all those days, you know, those, those days computer age is different. But government of, uh, US government uh, banned that uh, thing to India. Kalan called a group of youngsters and uh, he asked them to work on the system that is, uh, you know, a computer which will be used for the treasury, which will be the replacing, which will be replacing the uh, the original computer what uh, US is supposed to supply. This guy is a group of youngsters. They worked, 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 and uh, surprisingly, they brought it to a laptop uh, lab. Okay, when the laptop was introduced, we were the first to go to the missile uh, uh, firing and the firing the missiles using a laptop. So th that is, uh, this all happened in 80s, 89, 90s. As an expert, I was given a task of uh, developing a very, very strategic uh, uh, components. He believed us. He believed us and gave the you know, all support. So, uh, by by making that indigenous approach, our uh, capability went up. So, he is a good technology leader. He is a good management expert, and strategically. In the strategic management, also is a very good strategist. Above all, he is a motivator and they're providing encouragement. And failure, well, we were uh, uh, earlier, whenever we failed in a particular system, people used to fire us. You know, there used to be arguments about it. He introduced uh, the concept that support the failure, encourage the failure. Because his concept was, we are all doing the research side, you fail number of times here. When you fail, you, are, you cannot afford to fail when the system goes to your user. So here when you fail, only thing he wanted was, when you fail it's okay. But then find out what is the reason for failure. And then work out how this uh, failure will not recur in future. In fact, he started awarding uh, people who are failing. So he brought the failure to the forefront. That is his characteristic. That was his first phase where I interacted with him more and more closely in the technological areas. But sometimes, you know, uh, uh, you know, he, he has he has got his own way of uh, 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 sometimes people may not understand him. So, so all of a sudden, we, we, normally we go out and watch, watch out. Say today it is going to rain, and uh, it rained. You know, so something like that he makes some statement. He had some spiritual background also. Uh, he was, you know, he has got, he is not attached to any religion. He is not a Muslim, he is not a Hindu or he is not a Christian. In fact, uh, uh, if you go to his room, uh, when he was a president of India, we saw all these Rig Vedas and all. Uh, Rig Veda, Rig Veda. He has uh, specialized in Trikuran. He is uh, very good in Bhagavad Gita. It's, it, it, everywhere. He has... Uh, he, everywhere, wherever he uh, he considers all the religion as uh, uh, you know, as the tools to improve the society, and not getting attached with anything is his strength. He was not attached to his relatives. He was not attached to any position. He was uh, he was only uh, you know uh, he was uh, working for what he is supposed to deliver in the seat what he is. And he was never really seen him biased. He used to go for a walk. You see, his morning walk is very, uh, you know, he goes for a walk for uh, almost an hour every day. A number of occasions I joined him for a walk. Normally, uh, during walk, he never talks official uh, things. He will be talking about something about the nature, Something about what can be done. Uh, he's, uh, normally, he's a uh, 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 you know he 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 enjoys walking. In fact, one such occasion is uh, the time when he was uh, 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 he was designated as the president of India. So that's the time he came to our office, the idea. I went I went there to see him. He was uh, having heavy security, 
is that alert then he came out and then he he, he started walking along with the with all the security guys following us the the topic was uh, very pleasant and uh, we were talking for some time what's happening what the congratulations uh, became president of india all this is was going on for quite some time then he asked me the question uh, what people talk about this what is the reaction of our people here i uh, that's where i made a small uh, uh, you know i told him that everybody is happy everybody is happy that you are going to be president of india and uh, definitely uh, you know you are going to do wonders but some people say that uh, you know president of india is a political post and uh, you are only a scientist and how a political post can be held by a scientist i should have stopped with that since i was becoming more and more familiar with him just uh, out of a uh, slip of tongue i went ahead and then i told him people don't know really who you are if that is the one which triggered him in a very big way he started uh, he raised his voice i mean you are calling me a politician what do you, what nonsense you are talking why what do you say do you think that i am a political fellow i did do how to come how to retrace track my statement it is uh, something uh, you know uh, something we had control for me to justify i told him that uh, you know you are uh, you have been in delhi for a long time almost for 67 years you have been dealing with the prime minister defense minister and uh, so many ministers day in and day out you are dealing with political people so obviously when you are dealing with the political people you also know what is politics that's why i meant it uh, like you are you are uh, you know you are also a politician he was upset and the others were also upset and then the day went off just like that the same day evening he, he left for delhi same day evening he was in delhi in his guest house and uh, press reporters came to him and uh, you know they were asking questions one one of the question was uh, kalam you are uh, you know you are uh, uh, coming to a political post you are a scientist you are not a politician so how, how are you going to fit to this post his reply was instantaneous he replied that you know i have been in delhi for the last 6 years i know i have been dealing with the prime ministers i have been dealing with the defense ministers day in and day out i have been with the political guys uh, so that way he uh, he, he was the you know they they uh, he communicate to people and look at your reaction and he sees what is the you know takes the best out of that personally he is good actually he is his only hobby was uh, reading some tamil magazine which uh, he always keeps with him and uh, also playing veena that veena he learned and then there is a famous uh, uh, you know kirtan of uh, endro mohan boy say say by yagaraja so he took it as a challenge and uh, he he started learning that and he excelled in that see everywhere everywhere he started from scratch and then worked on that sincerity and focused on that and he became expert he he did the, that's what he has done for right from the beginning from his college days to his uh, uh, you know to the final stage the and also depending on the position and depending on uh, his uh, uh, requirements he changed here with the missile program he is a strong technology manager and techno manager all these things i was mentioned when he became president of india his approach totally changed and uh, he understood that he is one person who can who used to take care of the entire country he has also understood that under the political system he cannot interfere with the political system because here in india the president is not having real power prime minister is powerful as a team actually his advantage is as i told you is a net, very good networking person he never affects anybody and uh, he goes smoothly with everybody so that way 
with the politicians he was not indian politics or politicians and uh, this he was able to manage very well he established a system in which he will do that but at the same time he started his area which is different from what is going on in the government that is where he got into societal missions he started talking about uh, uh, connecting rivers india as a total country connect the rivers he started uh, uh, the, you know uh, for the everyone teach one he wanted everybody to teach one so that india would become a knowledge he started talking about knowledge this is the time he entered into vision earlier he was not considered as a visionary because in our program in the missile program and all he was highly short sighted in the sense if something has to be done now what is to be done in the next 6 months what is to be done in the next few days he was focusing on that so to our assessment he was a very very short sighted person he was not bothered about uh, you know what is the future and all because he said the present one plus first plus present one is established yourself but uh, the simultaneously he has got it to by the time he went into the presidential uh, side he became a missionary earlier for the technology side you know when we are discussing with him myself uh, dr y s rajan another person that kalam uh, uh, this happened in some in the 80s you see japan korea and singapore and all they were uh, uh, having some commercial spice you know we have a uh, in a defense in military we have we talk about spice they spy what is happening in all these countries uh, uh, eastern countries they had their commercial spice planted everywhere all over the world the job is to understand what is technology what technology is going on now assimilate the technology and tell the you know and collect all the information so they provided the information on technology that's the first step the second step is that they started assessing okay today uh, you know we are talking about uh, some the big component tomorrow people are going to talk about micro 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 mems and all maybe after that and years people will talk about nano so they started analyzing the trend in the technology and first they get the information and then they analyze and find the trend and use their some technique you know statistical technique regression and all and then try to understand what is going to be this one this technology after 10 years after 15 years that's called the forecast at this both singapore and the japanese uh, stock meeting they they uh, did very well they they in fact they started quite in uh, 70s and 80s in the 80s the government of in singapore the minister he was able to tell the industries you guys were work on this uh, nanotechnology you work on this area and all and that's where you know they, we, we see the result after 10 20 years today they have become leaders so kalam followed the same way he started a technology information forecasting assessment council he made all the industries uh, education institutions are the establishments so to teach to those that go to people were uh, members of that you know each one is a specialist in its own area and uh, we were we were the core members of the team okay we started working on the uh, technology and then we worked on the vision 2020 document that was for the future vision and he he converted into vision 2020 final one which has come up is highly abridged form of the vision and there he has given you know it, it is a since it has been done scientifically uh, the trend is known you see it is going to happen maybe we may be lethargic or we may be fast in certain cases it may take some time more instead of 2020 it will come in 2030 but the fact is the trend is going towards that so if you align yourself toward the trend then you you get into the what is called the resonance frequency you know you you go up 
So that is his, uh, uh, his concept. That's where we worked on, I worked on materials. Another person was working on computation, Indian stuff science, famous person. And somebody else has worked on, uh, you know, the agriculture and the health. Like that, there are uh, you know, number of uh, areas we worked. And then we networked. And finally, the endorsement had come. When he became president of India, he had in his hand this document. So the political government has got their priorities. As a president, he decided his priority. So he started integrating the ministries. You see, government of India has got a number of ministers, the number of ministries, 20, 30 ministries. He started talking to, uh, uh, you know, he started talking, he started networking the ministries. So well, this is the where we, where he started talking about uh, Net, uh, networking of uh, rivers, then Pura, he, the concept of Pura for him was, uh, Pura is, uh, you know, uh, 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 taking people, you know, with the gap between urban and rural people and uh, provide the facilities, uh, urban facilities in rural area. So the movement of uh, people from villages to city is spoiling the nature. So you provide everything. So the, he started uh, the concept of Pura. And he, want, he wanted that in, uh, somewhere in Tanjur and uh, these places. That scheme is working very well now. So he, he, he was focusing on those areas. So national society and mission. So he became, from a technology leadership, he moved over to a society leadership. And he provided the society of leadership for the country. He, and he used the technology. He did leave the, he used the technology for, uh, for society of missions. So he talked about telemedicine, he talked about healthcare, and many things. Many, there are many, many such things on this. The second stage, second phase of him as a president of India is the societal missions through technology. Let's come to the last phase. Last phase for him is uh, the uh, after president. After president, normally people keep quiet. Enjoy life. This gentleman saw the youth as a force. For him, the the country where India, India, India is a youth force. Earlier days we were talking about population. India has got high population, population control. India is going to, you know, overbeat China. These are the things, but then he got the advantage of this. You see, advantage of uh, when you worked out, the countries like Germany, the average age is going beyond 50 and 60. So focus on youth could be children, youth could be college students. Okay. Basic question, you know, generally we have here in the country, is, uh, you know, everywhere we talk about corruption, we talk about how to change the system. You see, this concept is very clear. It is very difficult to change the system and people are old. So let it go. There is no thing. But character, character thing at the source. Source is children. Source is youth. If you bring them to the national priorities, if you motivate them, if you integrate them, so that is where his vision was to foresee what is going to be the future. Mission is to motivate the people. And project is going towards the target. So that is the one he started in full vigor. The moment he came out of the uh, uh, presidentship, he was busy every day, moving every day out. He was never, he was not in Delhi. He was moving out and then he started moving to the other countries. He has started talking to millions and millions, and that's why he started communicating with the, uh, directly with the youth. He didn't believe that uh, you know, uh, if he had to go through the system and all, he, he started. The, that's why the best way for him to communicate is through, he has used the social media for this. He's a great man in that uh, level. And uh, the, the inspiration, in fact, that's where he always talks about three factors. 
for anybody for anybody for a person to be important the guru the teacher teacher has to be uh, you know he, he should be really good inspiring teacher because a teacher has got power of inspiring hundreds and thousands of uh, students uh, the career they play a very major role students we are looking for inspiring them if they are not having the focus they go in the negative way so provide the focus for them inspire them the basically the person who is important for anybody is mother and father that's where the if the society is to be changed these three people have to play a major role in the society he started addressing each one of them he answered the questions of a you know young mind and then he started uh, writing books he started writing a, first book was a you know he started writing for years together what he has seen as a wings of fire uh, wings of fire was uh, uh, you know he, he almost wrote for about 10 years okay and uh, the book had about more than 450 pages but uh, it, it, you know the his uh, as everybody maybe all of us feel that he had a very good excellent career and then he started as a somebody from rameshwaram he has gone to rashtrapati bhavan smooth career up is not so he went through a lot of problems everywhere he was going to the top he was coming down and again he was he was a leader of slb3 and then then he was he came out of that and then he was in a low key for some time for 2 3 years then he joined the missile program he went up at one stage he came out of uh, drdo and he was uh, for some time he was uh, uh, quiet and the third stage he became president of india so he 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 has this moment like this but every time the peak was going up highly focused His life itself is a message. He has proved uh, that a person with no financial background and with not uh, all that academic uh, greatness, you know, he was uh, he was like he is not a great scientist. Uh, uh, in uh, uh, he had his Illinois and other places, doctorates. You know, he he had his education in Rameshwaram. he was there in st joseph college in trichy he moved over to mit chennai that's it that is the qualification does he have personality not much of it he's a sharp guy long hair not tall that he's not like amitabh bachchan at all okay whether he is a great orator he is a inspiring orator he's not a great orator he's a inspiring he was able to engage people so he's not but if you see he proved that a person with a well with not much of a background mere with focus and hard work and sincerity and uh, you know uh, without uh, hurting others he can come to the top he has never he has, i don't think in his life he has never hurt anybody the the second thing is uh, when i say that, that's why i said he is a very good uh, human being so maybe that's a message he says what 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 that's what he says a dream he says if you have a dream uh, then you will start working for the dream if you don't have a dream you do not know what is your target uh, definitely you can dream to be the president of india they say no if you try to go to the uh, moon at least you land up and dream so that is the first message he he wants everybody to dream he has the capability of inspire that's where you see the inspiring and motivation is a very very uh, important it is not uh, you know uh, he I, i don't think you would have noticed that he is not using a very great english and a complicated grammar at all this is very simple language highly interactive highly interactive that's where he goes in tune with the crowd and uh, the age generation there is no generation when he when he moves with the children he becomes a child when he moves with youth he becomes a youth 
yes avoided moving with the uh, big fellows at all this is the interesting uh, thing here was uh, that when we went to airport to receive him uh, government was uh, the madras uh, terminal government he wanted to see him for uh, two minutes we sent a message to him but when he came out in the car he was just getting i uh, see that the stu- students are uh, you know he was delayed by 10 minutes he never wanted to be late and uh, he knows very well that uh, you know for his meeting students have to get into the hall at least two hours before he knows the security and all that he stayed away when the students are sitting there before taking food i will not delay let's go he just we just vanished from the place he had that that he is not bothered very simple you see he took uh, in this room he took a he he is uh, uh, food is a idli dosa dosa he is took he is happy with that food nothing much simple simple third is network networking to the society if you work for the so if you work for us this concept is very clear you make your skill you become highly skilled you become highly knowledgeable irrespective whatever the area you would like to you work on that and uh, then you become powerful when you become powerful you are happy when you are happy your family is happy because they also become powerful financially mentally they become powerful when your family when, when you are becoming then your friend circle friend circle also goes up and then the society also so when whatever you do you will have an effect on your family your friend circle and the third your society when all the youngsters are joining together like this it is just possible that india will become superpower see other countries they don't have this type of uh, focused approach india is great india has never invaded india has been invaded india has never invaded anybody else we have made uh, nuclear uh, nuclear technology and all to save our ourselves to it will be never it's only a you know the uh, sort of a defense not offense we don't have an offensive uh, program so this way basically we are good but basic weakness is not becoming a good team member that's why everybody has to perform in the team everybody should have vision and vision should be towards national vision national vision national vision and towards this he wanted you to be clean he wanted all the uh, uh, you know uh, established a clean system that's why in his talk he attracted people if you join uh, uh, ias you join ias what to join army you join army whatever whatever the way you want to do you join but you excel in that that is his very clear cut message definitely his uh, his dreams uh, you know dreams will become true his dreams will become true and uh, uh, you know uh, basically he can he cannot uh, you know you cannot expect a person to live for long uh, of course we expected him to live long uh, that, that he is not but uh, the, his dreams will definitely